chief of staff President General of the yeah, members of Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs and the Secretary General of Khan and other clergies that are here. Chairman and members of the traditional rulers, Kabyusi. And I hear on your fifth. Mushibao. My dear friend and a very good leader for that matter, standing for Sultan, the Emir of Sousa. Thank you. All other religious leaders are present. I've enjoyed a very good dinner. <laughs> to all the senior government officials, I extend my respect and regard. And the Emir whose kingdom gave me Jagaban. <laughs> right here. <laughs> to all of you, I say thank you very much. I didn't expect this great turnout. I'm grateful. There is a unique opportunity in our getting together that is reflective of the diversity of this country. Various religious leaders, the Christian, the Islamic leaders getting together to share a meal, to extend the spirit of togetherness, to show understanding of our nation, of our culture, the diversity the richness, the courage of the nation. That's what you are. Our conscience, our common heritage. Then what is left? You give us courage as political leaders to move on, to think and perform, to really care and love this country. The way you get up to pray for Nigeria, the method you use is one nation the change of mindset that is needed to build a country of love, perseverance, resiliency, and goodness. It is our country. I told a congressman from America yesterday that, oh, thank you for allowing me to study in your country but I won't want to come back to live there, hibernate, 
This is a lovely country, Nigeria. The love we share, each other's neighborhood, extension of love, it's a community. Yes, we are challenged. That is true. No nation that is not currently challenged one way or the other. But it is with God-given talent and resolve of all of us to say that we will overcome the challenges and turn it to prosperity by the grace of God. We will. We will turn it around. There is a very good bright light at the end of the tunnel. I believe it also that somewhere in the height of the storm is some corner of calmness and joy for those who we serve with faith and determination. We've seen the challenges of insecurity. Yes, many nations go through it. Some of those prosperous nations today, if they look back, they will find in the history of their nation, bloods on their snows. A fourth battery to be what they are. Maybe our weather that is beautiful, our land that is rich, our parents that is loving has spoiled us. They didn't win us early enough from breastfeeding. <laughs> so every minute we have to spare our cry of hunger. We didn't forget our childhood. But we will believe in the prosperity and the love and care of that woman, the mother, Nigeria. So, I'm with you. No matter what degree of lamentation is, my own is don't give up. As long as we don't, as long as we are determined to change our country, it is our own to change. Nobody, you know, all these things, America, Britain, France, and others, <laughs> they can't love us better than ourselves. <laughs> And if we get there, some of you are going to, you know, only primary and Mecca, and you see the glittering of light and everything. Yes, we have it, we can do it. You go to Dubai, you see the glittering and all of that. Yes, we can do it. We can drive on good roads like they have on their infrastructure. We can have education that is first class. Nigerians are respected. 
will give you the assurance as a government that you will be our priority. But not because of you, and just because of your children. Who do we hand over to? Share that love with us. Believe in the understanding of temporary challenges. Yes. Nigeria is strong, has a good reputation across the world. No military men respect us better than we respect ourselves. No terrorist, no terrorist can defeat our spirit. No matter how Bad the target, the soft targets. You know, going to the backyard of a of a school in, in Koriga and evacuating some children and giving the wrong figures. It doesn't defeat us. It doesn't. We have together, bond together, and deal with them. Only yesterday, I was at the funeral service of the 17 heroes of Nigeria. Be buried. Well, some of their wives are pregnant and little kids with their lives. The love of the nation is in your hand. The prayer is in your mind. Pray for our country. Educate our children. All the members of our church and mosque, the sermon we give to them is important. We don't condemn your own nation. Me, you, man. And our father will say, no matter how slippery the bottom of your child, leave the bead there. Leave the bead there. This is your country. Don't condemn it in sermons. Don't abuse the nation. Leadership are meant for changes. Yes, this leader is bad, fine. Wait until it's time to renew his mandate and say no. But don't condemn your country. Don't curse Nigeria. It's a beautiful land, land of prosperity. I just have a full belly of uh, rice, my man. Everything. So before I overly digest it. <laughs> I want to say thank you once again. And be able to say we soon get together again. It's a unique period. Lengthen season. And tomorrow is Good Friday, it's my birthday. I take it as Good Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nobody can argue that one with me. <laughs> I earn it. Yes. And to all of you, may you return home safely. Amen. May God continue to guide you. Amen.
keep and lift your spirits. Amen. In the name of God Almighty. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen.